Now, there are two triangles that are worth memorizing. Now, I'm not going to say that it's essential to memorize them, because essentially you are walking into a calculator exam. And before, so if we're talking about uh, like 15 years ago, um, the calculators that were around um, weren't able to do a lot of things in exact form. Okay, so they weren't able to write things in terms of uh, pi or one over root two or things like that. It just they just weren't capable of doing it. They would write it as a decimal. Okay, so 15 years ago, the A level uh, would put a lot of emphasis on memorizing these two triangles, but I still think it's worthwhile knowing them. Um, because it's nice to see kind of where we've come from and it's something that will be used again when you get into uh, your second year, when you're looking at core three, okay? A core three and core four. So the two triangles, the first one, well, they're both right angle triangles, let's say that first, okay? And the first one is a right angled isosceles triangle. And so that means that both of these angles are 45 degrees. Okay. Now, if this length is 1, then that length is also 1. And this length is then root 2. Okay. The second triangle is also a right angle triangle. Okay. And its lengths are 1, 2, and root 3. So 1, 2, 3 square root. Now this is the shorter side than that side, so this has a larger angle, and this one is actually 60 degrees, and this one is 30 degrees. Okay? And the reason why um, we would learn these triangles is because it sped up calculations. If you don't have a calculator that can write things in exact form, then this is a good way of getting there, okay? And tells us quite a number of important angles. So what we can now do is we could build up a table. So we could have uh, sine x, um, cos x, and tan x. And let's say these are my x values. And the, those are the angles that we're looking at. So we've got a 30 degree angle, we've got 45, and we've got 60. Okay. So what we're able to do now is say exactly what sine of 30 degrees is, or cos of 60 degrees is. And we can use these two triangles. So sine of 30, here's the angle of 30, and sine, using Sokotoa, is opposite over hypotenuse. So if that's the angle, that's the opposite, that's the hypotenuse. So sine of 30 is 1 over 2. Cos of 30, well there's 30, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so root 3 is the adjacent over 2. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over root 3. Sine of 45, well, here's a 45 degree angle. That's the opposite then. That's the hypotenuse, so that's 1 over root 2. Cos of 45 is the adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2 again. Tan of 45 is opposite over adjacent, so 1. So 1 over 1. Sine of 60 is the opposite over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2. Cos of 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over 2. And tan of 60 is opposite over adjacent, so root 3 over 1, or just root 3. So this sped up uh, calculations and then was, you were able to write down exact values of 
these um, trig functions, which helped a great deal with the mathematics and with the calculation. Okay, so although it's not essential to memorise these, okay, you will be able to perfectly well do the exam without them. It is useful to relate the trigonometry back to right angled triangles. And I'm going to show you in the next video why this is important. Um, because there is a brand of question that can be asked in this exam um, that you need to know how to answer it using a triangle or a related method. Okay, So you can check those on your calculator if you like and you should get exactly the same answers.